Let's do base 5 multiplication with a 3 digit number times a 2 digit number. This example is actually also really easy because if you look at the 2 digit number, we have 1 in both digits. And so um, when we do the multiplication portion, we do not need to do any carrying, but when we do need to do carrying when we do the addition portion of this calculation. And let's set up the problem. We have 1, 3, 2. 1, 3, 2, base 5. And then times. And then now we put the 1, 1 here. 1, 1, and then base 5. So now we do the. We just do it like the previous example. We start with this one here and then take the one multiply by each digit in the top number. So one times two, you get the two. One times three, you get the three. One times one, you get the one. Make sure that all the digits line up correctly. Uh, so that's done for the first step. Second step, we take this second one, right? This one in the longs place and then multiply by each digit in the top number. So one times two, you get the two here. 1 times 3, you get the 3 here. 1 times 1, you get the 1 here. So see that you actually will get an extra digit here compared to the first row. And then and then usually once you're done, once you have done with this multiplication, and then you are going to fill in the placeholder. You're going to fill in the placeholder, which is the 0. So now everything is completed, right? So you're ready to do the addition. And so two plus zero, you get you get two here. Now the next one, when you do the adding, it's more interesting. You have three longs plus two longs. You're going to get five longs, right? You're going to get five longs, but you're not going to put the number five here. You will need to regroup that five longs and in, group that into one flat. Uh, so we actually will have five longs, right? And then that actually turns into what? One flat, but no more longs. And so. And, and so you need to put down the number zero here, and because you are going to carry, you are going to carry that. Um, you are going to carry that that one flat, and so you make sure that you keep track of that, and then put it in here, and that's really just this flat that we have. Now, the next step is you have one flat, you have three flats, you add them, you get four flats. But when you have four flats, you add the one that you got you carry from the next step. You are going to get five flats in total. Yeah. So let's do that. In let's do the next one. We actually have um, five flats in total. And if you're writing that as a minimal set, you are going to get one long flat. One long flat. And then because all those five flats will get converted into this long flat, and so you have no more flats left. And so that really means that when you add 1 plus 3 plus 1, you get 5, right? But you convert those, and then so you, you, you'll you be getting the 0 here. And then you need to do the carrying. You need to do the carrying, so you carry 1. Let me use a different color. So you carry you carry 1. You carry 1 long flat in the, in the next place value. Now you originally have one long flat here, adding the one long flat that you carry from the previous step, then you are going to get two in total. So one plus one, you get the two. And so the answer for this problem is two zero zero two base five. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching.